What's up, peeps? So I am in like full girlfriend therapy mode. And um, I actually took the today off just to kind of prepare, get some last minute things together. My plan is to really have everything complete by the end of this weekend. So the next week I can just kind of really just uh, breathe <laughs> and just take in the words that God is giving me, um, you know, for the message that he's, you know, uh, that he's pouring into me um, to share with the ladies. So I am just finishing some things up today. But um, I just wanted to take a minute to just kind of get out of girlfriend therapy mode for a second and just, you know, just talk a little bit because it seems like everything I do is really, especially this time of year, is really just about girlfriend therapy. So I just wanted to kind of take a minute to um, just kind of talk, you know, just kind of let you ladies get to know me, those who don't know me, those who aren't familiar with me, those who only know me um, from the girlfriend therapy setting, just wanted to kind of come on and just say, hey, um, one of the things I wanted to talk about is as you know, I actually uh, adopted a vegetarian lifestyle back in November, and so since November, I have. Um, well, let me let me start here. Um, since no well, I stopped eating back in November. <laughs> I got the revelation. Really, it, it was, and it was just really just that it was a revelation. Um, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and said, you know. Um, watch what you're eating. And I didn't know what that meant. So what I did was literally began to write down the things that I was eating and not just writing down what I was eating, but how it was making me feel. And so just started writing those things down. And, um, and I realized that, uh, so from that exercise, I removed uh, sugar from my diet. I removed, um, bread from my diet, which wasn't too difficult because I kind of was weaning off of bread for, uh, you know, a few years before that anyway. Um, I never was really a big bread eater, but I love cornbread. So that was like the big struggle. Um, so I removed bread from my diet. I removed, of course, uh, all dairy, including eggs and cheese and butter and milk, obviously. Um, yogurt, don't eat that either. Um, so removed all of that from my diet. So that was like, of course, move, remove meat from my diet. Um, so what else? Bread, sugar, dairy, meat. Um, and then all kinds of uh, like pasta and things like that. I removed that from my diet. And so from there, you know, I, I, you know, from writing, doing that exercise and writing things down and saying how it made me feel, you know, I was able to remove those things from my diet and then kind of start fresh. And so the things that I ate constantly was, um, I of course ate a lot of salad mixed, you know, fresh salads with, you know, with kale, with spinach, don't really do the lettuce too much, but kale and spinach, um, uh, put a lot of fruit in there, put a lot of nuts, um, introduced more nuts into my diet. Um, so really fruits, vegetables, nuts, and, 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 you know, of course, a lot of water intake. Um, and that's kind of what I was doing. And I did still did like, um, like oatmeal, um, we still do oatmeal, um, started doing like black rice. Um, of course, spaghetti squash. I talk about that a lot. And, um, so I kind of was on that whole trip for, probably up and through maybe January and I felt amazing. Um, but I noticed that my skin initially, my skin was like very vibrant, but then I noticed my skin was kind of looking a little dry and dull and no matter and the things that I was typically using just didn't seem to work anymore. So, um, I reintroduced, um, salmon and salmon. <laughs> my son always gets me for saying salmon, salmon into my diet. And, uh, so that really is the only meat that I eat. Um, I do a lot of black bean burgers. So I do a lot of beans. I love beans. Um, so I do just, you know, bean soups, bean dips, just all kind of beans mixed with um, just beans, you know, beans. And I'll do like, I did a bean soup a while back. But but the thing, the interesting thing is I use a lot of uh, ingredients that I wouldn't necessarily use like in a past. So I eat more asparagus, um, more, not asparagus, Brussels sprouts. Um, of course, spaghetti squash, um, uh, butternut squash. I eat more squash than I've ever thought I would eat in my life. Um, of course, like, like I said, veg uh, vegetables, uh, green peppers, red peppers, just different peppers, um, fruit, you know, I eat a lot of, uh, mostly like apples, oranges, strawberries, blueberries, just, you know, different fruits that, you know, that introduce back into my diet or that I, you know, really eat and, and make everything around that. So for example, what I may have, I may do like a, um, for breakfast, I may have oatmeal with bananas and walnuts in it, you know, um, with natural cinnamon, 
Um, then that would be breakfast. And I may even have like an orange or something on the side. I don't drink too much like anything other than water. So um, I don't really drink orange juice or apple juice and things like that. Um, had my first cup of tea yesterday and I hadn't had tea in, in months. Um, so I don't really do tea like that or I uh, never was a coffee drinker. So that's not an issue for me. Um, but overall, with the with the vegetarian diet, uh, mostly vegetarian diet, like I said, I've since introduced salmon back into my diet. And I think it's like a paleo, I think is what they call it. I don't know. Um, but all in all, I feel great. Um, I've always been thin. So I thought that, uh, and in fact, before I started the diet, I had start putting weight on. Um, and, you know, it was different for me. Uh, but uh, since, you know, since uh, adopting a vegetarian diet, um, I've lost weight, but not as much as I thought I would lose. Um, I think my skin is much better. My energy is like really a lot better. My mind is a lot clearer. Um, I manage stress a lot better. Uh, it's just overall like that whole living from the inside out has, has really benefited me. And um, so I, you know, I recommend, highly recommend the vegetarian diet. Um, I feel great. Like there were things that, you know, like I said, when I would, uh, when the Holy Spirit said, you know, uh, pay attention to what you're eating and how it makes you feel. There were things that I would eat, for example, when I eat uh, bread, I'll get very nauseous um, afterwards and just feel sluggish if I ate pasta. Oh my God, it's like somebody just injected me with some kind of serum to put me to sleep. Um, it was horrible. Um, and so a lot of those things just really drain my energy and just really have me feeling very sluggish. Um, and, and as you know, I have a lot of work to do, so I don't have time to feel sluggish. Um, and then drinking more water has been a lifesaver. So those are just some of the small things that I've done since I've been a vegetarian. Um, I will say one of the biggest challenges, I think, in the beginning, uh, I would crave bacon like nobody's business. Like I remember being at work. It was like three days in a row and I just, I swear, I just smelled bacon all day and it was like, I want some bacon. And, uh, of course I didn't cave into the bacon. Um, but that was like one of my biggest temptations. Um, also I was driving down one of the main roads, you know, near where I live where they have like a lot of little restaurants and things. And I just smelled French fries and fried chicken. And I literally had to get off that road. I couldn't <laughs> do the errands that I needed to do. I was like, I got to get from around here. It was something about that. That fried chicken smell and French fries is another thing. I got on the elevator the other day um, around lunchtime and there was a lady on the elevator who had some French fries. And oh my God, I, I, I like had visions of me just knocking her in her head and grabbing those French fries. <laughs> and then like when the elevator door opened, I'd be like in a corner just like French fries, you know. Um, so just these weird images, um, but I'll tell you something that's helped. I seen this video, I think, or a picture or something on YouTube, not YouTube, uh, Facebook. And there was, um, there was this chicken. I don't know where it was, but they had like this picture of chicken. I think it was, I don't know where it was, but it was like, it was maggots in the chicken. So stuff like that. Like since that, since I've seen that, I do not crave fried chicken at all. Um, so that's kind of helped. And then just other stuff, really gross stuff. So I don't know if I had to kind of go on the dark side to really get away from a lot of the things, but, um, some things were more difficult than others. Like last week, my big thing was I just wanted some chocolate cake. I was like, I want chocolate cake with chocolate icing and chocolate chunks. And I just want chocolate. Um, and of course I didn't cave. I didn't, I didn't do the chocolate cake. Um, I do include cheat days. So I think on our anniversary last month, um, my husband and I, we went out to eat at Cheesecake Factory and I cheated and I had, um, I had a turkey burger that was so freaking good. Um, and of course, you know, with the whole bread, they had like this, this huge top layer, layer of bread. Um, and so I took the top layer off cause I was like, I can't eat all this bread. So I took the top layer off. I kept the bottom layer and I just, you know, ate it with like, uh, you know, with the onions and the tomatoes and the lettuce and, you know, mustard and ketchup. And it was like so delicious. I didn't have any cheese on it, um, but it was so, so, so good. I mean, it was like so good. Um, what else did I have to cheat on? Um, I don't really have, like if I, if I cheat, I'm trying to think like what else, like yesterday, what did I have yesterday? Oh, no, yesterday wasn't a cheat day. I don't really do get too many cheat days. Oh, I know it was last week. 
I actually, um, this past weekend, actually, we, you know, wanted to do pizza. And so I did, um, I did pizza. I did, uh, but I did, this is probably, you're probably like, that's not really pizza. It was a veggie pizza, um, on thin crust. Um, so it did have the cheese on there and it did have the bread. So, but I did eat that and it was so good. But the crazy thing is once I ate it, my, I, so that's what I did. I had the pizza and, um, and then we had cookies with it and then I had Pepsi. So I like totally took my body over, you know, overload. <laughs> so I felt horrible afterwards, but I was like, I do some pizza and some Pepsi, you know? And, um, and then we had the cookies and I was like, I'm going to eat the cookies and a pizza and a Pepsi. And I, I tell you probably within an hour, I felt like crap. So, um, yeah, I, I just, everything in moderation. Right. But I just kind of lost it and, and just went full speed ahead. Um, but all in all, I think having a vegetarian, mostly vegetarian diet, um, adding, like I said, just the, the salmon um, to my diet, mostly, you know, having that type of diet has really worked for me. Um, what I've realized, too, is that you have to plan what you eat. You have to um, really be more conscious about what you're eating and what, you know, what it's made of. And I, and I always tell people, like, I'm, I'm not mad at the, you know, like, I believe that you can eat meat. I believe, you know, scripturally, it's sound that you can eat meat. Um, my issue is that, you know, all the things that the government is doing, and I don't want to get into my social political, you know, rant, but just all the things that the government is doing to our food, um, and that things are not in its purest state. And, 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 and ultimately the hormones and things that, you know, are being injected into our animals. And then we eat that, like, you know, only God knows the effects that it's really having. Um, and, you know, I'm not even going to go down that path, but bottom line is for me, changing my diet has been a huge benefit to me. It's been a huge benefit um, to my health. It's been a huge benefit to my level of energy, my clarity. Um, and I just feel a whole lot better. So I just wanted to come on really quickly because I hadn't really talked about, um, you know, the difference or the changes since I've been, a, you know, having a vegetarian diet. So just wanted to share that. Oh, and even for my hair, my hair has been, um, it's been healthier you know, it's been more moisturized. And I think that's probably from drinking a lot more water. Um, so that, you know, that's another benefit. And I think my skin is mostly clear. Um, I think I have a pimple up here somewhere that I just noticed yesterday. You probably can't see it, but I have a little pimple on my forehead. Um, <laughs> so that's pretty much it. And I will say this also, um, I was like for probably the past two or three years, I was going through this this crazy season of just really itching and I didn't know what that was. Like my skin would get really itchy. It wasn't dry, like there were no obvious patches or anything, but it was just like really itchy. Uh, and I, th I don't know what triggered it, but um, before it happened, I remember taking a, pic a particular medication for, um, I, had, I had a sinus infection at that time and I took a particular medication for that. And, um, and it seemed like after that, I would just, I would just itch, um, went to a dermatologist and everything and nothing ever came out of it. But since I've adopted the, you know, veg mostly vegetarian diet, um, the itching has completely gone. So whatever it was that was in my body, you know, um, my body was able to overcome it. And, um, and so I don't have the itching that I had before. Um, what else? What else? I also noticed that when I wake up in the morning, um, I have, like, I used to get so much congested, like my face would just be swollen from, I think, mucus buildup. Um, and I notice now when I wake up in the morning, I don't have that. Like, it would literally be like, do you hear, I don't know if you can hear how clear it is when I breathe in, but, <laughs> it, you know, usually I would have like this, this thick feeling of mucus and congestion and my face would feel swollen and just all kinds of stuff. I would have, probably have to put like a warm rag on my face just to kind of take down some of the pressure. Um... One of the things I will say that was a downfall for me is probably three weeks ago or so, I ended up getting a sinus infection and I was, you know, it was like allergies, started off feeling like allergies. And um, so I started getting like headaches and pressure and all that stuff. And it was really frustrating because I'm like, okay, here I am eating healthy. And, um, and where, like, where did this sinus thing come from? So I was a little irritated with that, but you know, my body recovered. I didn't take any medication. Um, I don't really take medication. Um, so I just drank like, you know, hot ginger with lemon, um, and, uh, honey and, you know, just let my body kind of do what it does. I did end up taking a couple of days off though, because I really felt like I just needed to rest. Like I, my face hurt. 
Um, so I just wanted to lay down. But that, other than that, um, adopting a vegetarian diet has been a huge blessing, and um, and I you know would highly recommend it. So those are just some of my thoughts on being a. I guess it's paleo is the new name for it because I I've adopted the you know the uh, salmon into my diet. So, but other than that, it's been phenomenal. I have felt incredible, and um, yeah, I just wanted to share that. So, blessings and thanks for listening. Blessings.